Chapter 10. Their bodies need water after they leave the garden. Then God, merciful and gracious, looked at them thus lying in the water and close to death, and sent an angel, who brought them out of the water and laid them on the seashore as dead. Then the angel went up to God, was welcome, and said, O oh God, your creatures have breathed their last. Then God sent his word to Adam and Eve, who raised them from their death. And Adam said, after he was raised, O oh God, while we were in the garden we did not require or care for this water, but since we came to this land we cannot do without it. Then God said to Adam, While you were under my command and were a bright angel, you knew not this water. But now that you have transgressed my commandment, you cannot do without water, wherein to wash your body and make it grow. For it is now like that of beasts, and is in want of water. When Adam and Eve heard these words from God, they cried a bitter cry. And Adam entreated God to let him return into the garden and look at it a second time. But God said to Adam, I have made you a promise, and when that promise is fulfilled, I will bring you back into the garden, you and your righteous descendants. And God ceased to commune with Adam.